This is the video that literally everybody asks for, and this is the simplest guide that I can give on how anyone, literally anyone, can become a cryptocurrency millionaire, not in 20 years, not in 15 years, but within months. This is the way that I did it. This is the way that literally everybody I know has done it. And yes, there are some people who pick just the right horse, go all in and make storybook gains, but this guide is going to give you an approach that doesn't require getting lucky, that doesn't require just happening to stumble into the one coin that just pumped and never stopped pumping. No, we're gonna give you the keys to understand where value is traveling in this industry and how you can, with statistical likelihoods, end up benefiting from this movement. Watch this. If you guys are excited for this one, smash the like button. And of course, if you're new or excited experienced here and you want to completely crush this industry, we're giving you the keys to do so. All you have to do is subscribe and put that bell notification on. With that said, let's dive into this complete guide on how you can become a millionaire off crypto gaming. So first and foremost, let's talk about the thing that you should absolutely not do. This is the red flashing lights warning here because most people rush in, they do this exact one thing and it completely ruins their chance to be successful in this industry. Now, the one thing that they do is they buy green and they sell red. This is the ultimate mistake is that they come in here, they look at CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, wherever you're looking, and they sort by the things that are going up the most. And they go, ooh, ThorChain looks good. It obviously, it actually is good. But the point here is they'll look at what's already gone up and they'll think that that makes the coin good. Really, the people who make the most money are the people who buy when things are down the most and they know that something is good about it. Coincidentally, the top two coins here are ones that I actually like a lot. That's not the point of this video. The point is that you buy red and you sell green. Buy red, sell green on things you believe in. So the real question is, what should you believe in? I can't tell you what to believe. I can't tell you what's gonna go up. I'll tell you what I believe, and I'll tell you my thesis that I believe more strongly than anything else in this industry is about blockchain gaming, NFT-based gaming, crypto gaming, play to earn, whatever you call it, the ecosystems that are being built around games that are interacting with the blockchain will be the biggest digital ecosystems of the future. Social media is becoming metaverse. Game items are becoming NFT. True ownership and player-owned economies are the future. And just like everything that joins crypto, there will be 100x gains coming to the gaming industry, which means that an industry doing about $100 billion in volume today will be doing about $10 trillion in volume in about 10 years, in my estimation. Let's go ahead and we can come back to this and see if it happens. I think it might even be sooner. So you're saying, Elio, what do you mean I can't become a millionaire? Don't dangle this carrot in front of me. And I'm about to show you with math and statistics that I find to be pretty, pretty, pretty darn likely right here how you absolutely can. I made this simple chart and the easiest way for you to understand how to like allocate some money in this early stage or the way that I would do it again all this stuff is super risky and as we'll see here you can easily lose a huge chunk of your money the point here is that I'm trying to give you a realistic path here you see I even included taxes here I even included taxes here because I want you to have a realistic vision and obviously for some of you who might be in other countries that don't have as high tax then that's great you can just go with this initial number up here it just makes your next move even better the way that you need to be thinking about this is a cyclical plan, especially for people who are new, maybe starting out with about 10K to spend. I feel like that number is achievable for the wide variety of crypto investors. And if it's not, then just extend your time horizons because you can get to 10K with this process, even if you're starting with 1K. You'll see how this works. So the point here is that you want to pick 10 different things that you have conviction in. How you find those, of course, is through intensive research, taking your time, learning about the market, involving yourself with communities, and seeing where the true value and the true builders are, seeing where the true communities of power and influence are. Of course, this is an easy and simplified mental model, but I encourage you guys to make this your own. So look, if you take a thousand bucks and you throw it into 10 different opportunities here in crypto, whether they're coins or NFTs, the reality is over the course of this bull run in US dollar value, even if some of these NFTs just hold their Ethereum value while Ethereum goes up, the reality is, is that there will be massive, massive gains across the board in US dollar value as there normally is in Q4 of the year after the halving. That's where we are right now. I think a realistic way to think about this is that most coins will be targeting about a 10X. Of course, there'll be some that do 20, 50, 100X. There'll be some that do 0.5X. The point is that if you're here in the most profitable bullish moments, I think hoping for an astronomical 1000X at the tail end of the bull run is fool's gold. But hoping for a 10X or something 
something to that degree is realistic. So as you can see, we start with $10,000. We give sort of a random multiple here between two and six, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.2. We have a 22X, a 14X, an eight, five, and a 10. I think these are very realistic and achievable numbers. And as you can see, that leaves us here with about a $68,000 total return. That's a 6.8X. And I think it's super, super reasonable to expect a 6.8X on your total portfolio through the end of Q4 if you're allocated to more than just Bitcoin, right? If you're in any of the good altcoins or following any of the alpha leaks on this channel or others, you should already know that allocating to Bitcoin will be most likely your lowest multiples. Now that said, what happens if you have a $68,000 return? Well, check it out you're gonna to have to pay probably about 19K in taxes, 20K in taxes, whatever that might be. Again, I just picked a 33% tax bracket. I don't know what tax bracket you'll be in, but I'm assuming that if this is a big chunk of your money, it might even be less, right? Anyway, so let's just say that your real return here uh, was $58,000 and then you pay about 19K in taxes on it. That leaves you with just under 50K here to actually play with as real liquid returns. And that's if you're disciplined and pull the trigger and take these cells when you get them. So you end up with about a 50K real return from your 10K. And then the big goal here is to wait for the crash. Crypto is a game of cycles. Each and every time a project comes out with huge excitement, they have these FOMO peaks and then these huge setbacks here. And you can see Star Atlas is a perfect example of this. It came out, it hit a 26 cent price. And after a few days, it corrected down here all the way down to about seven cents. You can see it's flirting around here with this sort of seven to eight cent range. And it's probably gonna settle here. It may try to work its way back up here, but there's a lot of token unlocks coming. Look here at Solana. We can see that it had these spikes up to $60 and then down to $20. That's a two thirds discount here. You just gotta wait for the crash. Don't buy things while they're mooning, right? Look how dramatic that looks on the chart. We can even see it happened again to a certain degree here when it went up to over 200 bucks really and then crashed down to 122. Look at the sandbox, pretty much the leading metaverse project in the entire crypto space with buy-in from the most major brands and the most active users, like some of the most impressive metrics in the entire metaverse category. And we can see it peaked here uh, during March at about 81 cents and came all the way down to 19 cents. Now, this isn't even a bear market, but this was a bearish cycle. So it just shows you that if you really like these projects, wait till they crash like crazy and then buy in. Because if you bought in here, now you'd be back up almost, you know, what is this, 5x or more, right? So that's the thing is that there will be crushing bear markets. And that I believe after this cycle concludes, until proven otherwise, there will be a true bear market in which coins will come down 80, 90, or even over 90% in value. And in a world where Bitcoin goes back to a nuclear winter, we will see charts that look like this. This is what Cardano's chart looked like since uh, January 18, all the way down through. You can see that it bottoms here in March of 2020. It went from literally a dollar. I think it peaked here at a dollar uh, 20. That sounds about right. And it came all the way down at one point to two cents, right? So that is a massive, massive discount, pretty much a 99% off discount, right? Uh, or something like that, 98%. The point is that things come down absolutely tragically over the course of the bear market. But then look what happened next. We get Cardano surge for the people who are buying here in the few cent range. They're now up 100x, right? They're up 100x. So knowing the volatility here in this market, what you want to do is aim for what is this? This equals a 6.8x, um, which to me is super, super achievable. That's not even crazy numbers. That's not moon boy math at all. 6.8x is not crazy here in the tail end of the bull run, which is the most parabolic moment. So if you aim for something normal like this, take those profits off the table, and then you have the patience here to play and wait for the bear market. That is where most people will not. They'll wanna buy the dip at negative 20%. They'll wanna buy the dip at negative 50%. If we get a true bear market, we're gonna have the world freeze over to the point where buying cryptocurrency, buying altcoins in specific, will be so contrarian and so crazy sounding because everyone's only lost money for years now. That's exactly when you wanna buy. You want to completely counter trade the emotional nature of the market and then you'll have 10 different plays that you can now put $5,000 in. And if you buy at the bottom of the bear market, probably all of them will go up to a certain degree when the market returns, but some of them will go 100X and more. That is the magic. Because if you're able to put 4.8K, 5K into 10 different plays, let's go ahead and run that simulation again. So here we go, we took your 10K, we invested into 10 plays, we made a 6.8X. Then you sat on your hands, you sat on your hands for months, 
maybe even over a year, and you waited for things to get down to horrifically low levels. And by the way, you can see here in the Cardano chart when this happened, you can see that there was literally, it was trading between two and three and four cents for years, not just months, but there was plenty of time that you saw that this thing was just chugging along doing absolutely nothing. So knowing you're gonna have plenty of time to do that, you take your 4.8K into 10 different projects, you take your 48K, and then you literally have 10 different plays. And look, I even had a bunch of these go to zero or pretty much zero. So say these are down 80, 90%, and they somehow lose another uh, 70%, 80%, 99%. This one just goes to literally zero. This one goes to almost zero, almost zero, right? But you have two plays in there that do 100X. You have two plays in there that come back and actually deliver, build their audiences, and become a part of the future of the most important digital industry of all time. And then a couple that are, are really nice multiples here, 10 and 25, that's, that's good. You can even make this more like five, right? Doesn't matter because these two out of your 10 that actually come through and rise out of the bear market a few years later will make you a millionaire. And that is the reality of this market is taking asymmetrical bets, spreading them out, having high conviction and holding through the bear markets, holding until the good times. You wanna buy the red and sell the green. So what kind of projects should you be looking at? Well, guess what? Play to earn is a hugely disruptive model in gaming. I believe gaming in general is the model we should be looking at. Things I've mentioned a bunch of times like Axie, uh, Sandbox, Gala, Yield Guild, Illuvium, UFO, um, Star Atlas, uh, Wild of World, Vulcan Forge, all of these have the chance, but they're all really, really pumped up right now. So what you'd really want to do is look for the absolute top tier blue chip gaming projects and buy them when they completely capitulate down to almost nothing. When everybody's rolling their eyes and saying, "Ugh, remember that gaming crypto scam thing? Well, they were saying the same thing about Cardano, the same thing about Solana, the same thing about Phantom, the same thing about literally every major coin you're seeing today, right now. Doge, Binance, Polkadot, the list goes on. Everyone was saying the same thing about the altcoins. What we know for sure is that gaming is eating the internet and crypto is eating gaming. So if you go to the crypto side of things and you invest in the right ecosystems, you will be a part of the biggest change to the internet, to our social interactions, to our modern society, I believe, in the history of the internet. For this reason, I've given you this guide. It's my opinion. I encourage you to formulate your own understanding and approach to the market. Of course, there is the odd chance that we never experience a bear market again. No, I don't think it's that. If we look back at the dot-com bubble, we had some companies like Amazon, which were fully formed and delivering amazing value to their users. We also had companies like Pets.com that got hundreds of millions of dollars in total market cap, and they had zero, zilch, nada, a complete nothing burger. And that's kind of the state of affairs here in crypto land. Some projects are delivering incredible value. Some projects are zeros and will remain zeros. And so a speculative wash of sorts is likely to happen in the not too distant future. This is how crypto goes. Speculative overvaluations, then speculative undervaluations. You want to buy when things are really undervalued. And so hopefully this guide has helped you. And if it did, smash that like button because this simple guide to seeing yourself turn 10K into maybe 60, 70K over the course of this cycle, literally paying your taxes and then taking that extra money and being ready to deploy it into the most important sector in cryptocurrency, which is crypto gaming, blockchain gaming, play to earn, metaverse, call it whatever you want to call it. The digital worlds that will bring these crypto assets and crypto mechanisms to life, give them a pulse, give them an emotion that will connect them with us and make us part of their communities ongoing. Those are the most disruptive apps here in crypto. I've been talking about it since 2018 and I'm not gonna stop. I believe those who have discipline, who take profits and who are able to invest strong in the bear market will absolutely crush life in general. That's it, 10K to 1 million on crypto gaming, a complete guide. I hope this has helped you guys tremendously. Make sure to smash that like button. Follow me on Twitter at Elio Trades. The link is in the description and I'll see you very soon on the next episode.